And we're going to turn now to new fallout from a hazing death. A judge has now banned a fraternity from Pennsylvania for 10 years. And three fraternity brothers are now facing jail time after the death of a pledge in 2013. ABC's Dan Macedo is here with the story. Good morning, Diane. Good morning to you all. Not only were the fraternity brothers sentenced in this case, but the fraternity itself was also sentenced. And now the case is not only impacting the whole state of Pennsylvania, but it could set a precedent nationwide. A fraternity is now banned in the state of Pennsylvania, and four members face up to two years in prison after pleading guilty to voluntary manslaughter in the 2013 hazing death of 19-year-old Chun Michael Dang. Having spoke with each and every one of them, I don't doubt uh, for a second that there is remorse on behalf of each and every one of them. Pi Delta Psi is now prohibited from operating anywhere in the state for 10 years, meaning its chapters at Penn State and Carnegie Mellon will be shut down. Deng's death is attributed to injuries from being repeatedly tackled by Baruch College fraternity members during a ritual at a rented home in the Pocono Mountains, where investigators say the brothers waited more than an hour before getting help. There shouldn't have been any delay, and yet there was, and then afterwards, there was a cover-up. The decision is having ramifications for other victims of hazing as well. Pennsylvania's attorney general agreed on Monday to take over the Penn State hazing case that left Timothy Piazza dead in early 2017. He fell down a flight of stairs after a night of heavy drinking. Piazza's parents put out a statement saying, in order for there to be real and meaningful change, prosecutors and the court systems throughout the country need to take a tougher stance on these types of crimes. And Penn State has said they've already implemented some changes to increase safety. We also reached out to Baruch College where Dang went to school, but so far no response. All right, Diane, thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.